Hi there friends, I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Clean sweep on the radar for us, still dealing with a few showers in West Virginia. Frankly, today West Virginia has had a little more rain than what we've gotten here locally. As that front seeps a little bit farther down to the south and also to the east, I think our chance for rain will increase a little bit here over the next couple of days. So here's a look at the uh, regional picture. Pennsylvania saw quite a bit of rain earlier in the day. That rain is now gone. We still have this little cluster of showers and thunderstorms not too far away from Parkersburg in West Virginia. This is heading to the east and as it does, it will likely fall apart as it gets a little bit closer to us. May still hold together just enough though to bring areas say up towards the highlands a stray shower later tonight. For the day tomorrow, we're looking at highs in the middle 90s, but when you factor in the additional humidity, it's going to feel more like 95 to 100 degrees. Again, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, maybe a slightly better chance for a few stray thunder showers. I do think that there will be some hit or miss thunder showers around on Thursday with a high still around 94. The reason we're going to have more instability on Thursday is this front to the north is going to seep just a little bit closer to us. Future tracker showing that overnight again, maybe a stray shower into our northernmost counties, otherwise partly cloudy with some patchy fog. Wednesday starts with some hazy sun and then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, we will again have that chance for just a few isolated showers or thunder showers. Best chance on Wednesday will likely be in areas south and west of the Roanoke Valley into parts of Floyd, Carroll, Patrick, maybe even into Grayson and Wythe County. So basically the Southern Blue Ridge have the best chance for a stray shower or thunder shower Wednesday afternoon into early Wednesday evening. Otherwise, we're looking at uh, skies clearing as we head into Wednesday night. Thursday again starts dry with some hazy sun and you'll notice as we head into Thursday afternoon, a slightly better opportunity for some pop up showers or thunder showers. But the next couple of days certainly don't look uh, to have any widespread rain or thunderstorms around that may come on Friday. It's 68 right now in Hot Springs, 73 in Hillsville and Galax, still 78 at this hour in South Boston, 75 at Smith Mountain Lake. So are there any records in jeopardy for the day tomorrow as we're going to be still very hot and humid? The answer to that is maybe one. I don't think you're going to do it in Roanoke because the record's a 102. I don't think you're going to get there in Lynchburg with the old record of 98. In Blacksburg, though, your record is 91. We're forecasting high around 90. So if there is one location that could break a record tomorrow, it would be Blacksburg. And then the number to beat in Danville is right at an even 100 degrees. So Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, I don't think you're going to break any records. Blacksburg, you may come close. We've got a heat dome overhead for us, and this heat dome is likely going to be overhead until Friday, and that means we're going to have temperatures feeling like 95 to 100, maybe even out across south side up to 105 from now all the way through Friday. But the heat dome is actually going to move a little bit farther to the west this weekend, and as that moves to the west, the highest concentration of heat is going to move to the west as well. Still going to be very warm this weekend, but we're not as warm on Saturday and Sunday as we will be, say, on Thursday and Friday. Ways to beat the heat, ways to stay cool, seek shade, drink lots of water, or drink lots of water, check on those pets and the elderly stay in the air conditioning and wear that light colored loose fitting clothing. Those dew points right now are in the 60s for us, but the dew points are much higher in areas to our south where we have those dew points in the low to mid 70s. And with that southerly flow, we are looking at that heat and humidity coming in our direction over the next couple of days. Overnight tonight, 70 for your low tomorrow, 95 hazy, hot and humid with a stray late day thunder shower. Your three degree guarantee high on Wednesday, 94, 92 on Friday. Then we're in the upper 80s over the weekend, mid to upper 80s Monday and Tuesday. Best chance for rain over the next seven days will be Friday. Right now, Saturday may have a slightly better chance for a few thunder showers in comparison to Sunday, but neither weekend day looks to be bad for outdoor plans. Southwest Virginia Wildlife Center, this is the charity of the month. We forecast a high of 95, actual mm. high 94, $10 in the pot, $460 so far raised.